Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a new one here today. We're doing our first car review. Uh, we got Sachin here with us, and this is his 400 kilowatt R33 GTR. So super stoked. Thanks to him for letting us uh, review the car today. A uh, bit of a different thing for the channel. You know, we just do vlogs and uh, cinematics and everything, but um, I had quite a few requests for this that I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. It's a good way to um, show some of the awesome builds from our community here in Auckland, New Zealand and I uh, get to drive some awesome cars and hang out with some cool people. So yeah, I've only ever driven a sort of stock uh, with a tune R35 GTR, which is obviously an automatic. So we've got the five speed manual gearbox in here today and the car is making around 400 kilowatts at the wheels, which is awesome. So it's imported from Japan into New Zealand quite a while ago and it's only done 78,000 kilometers so far, which is really really low for one of these cars eh? so um, as the prices are starting to skyrocket on the GTRs now that America is starting to get access to them I believe that uh, they've had access to R33s for a year or two um, so prices are probably starting to skyrocket pretty well so good that you picked this one up uh, yeah, <laughs> at the beginning going. of that right <laughs> Darshan's done a fair amount of supporting mods and um, upgraded it to get up to 400 kilowatts because stock they're about they're like they say that they're 270 something but that was the oh, whole yeah. japan gentleman's, gentleman's agreement. agreement sort of thing uh, from the 90s we got a bit of traffic here but we'll be able to um get into uh out into the country road soon and really push this thing it'll be really fun like i said it's probably the uh, the fastest manual car i've ever driven this car is just it's super clean really smooth i really love how he's kept the twin turbos uh, in the engine bay, like true GTR fashion. I'm just getting used to the car, we had it in low boost mode, we just flicked it into high, really cool, it's just a little switch here, and that changes it from about 350 kilowatt up to the uh, full 400. I used to not really like the R33s, I thought they looked a little bit boaty, a little bit um, sort of too curvy for the, you know, when you think of Skyline GTAs, you sort of think of this super aggressive, um, you know, the R32 front end and the R34 rear is very rectangular, um, very straight and sort of boxy, aggressive look. But um, I've really come to appreciate the R33s. There's quite a few clean ones around Auckland now. It's not quite as technologically advanced as the R34. Um, you know, it's quite a simple interior, but in terms of the driving feel and what you can get out of it, you know, just a few um, sort of bolt-on mods and you're making, you know, it's making some pretty damn good power. So in this car, uh, it's just got some BC Gold coilovers. Um, so that's just sort of planting it a bit more. Feels pretty good, feels really stable, not too hard, um, quite soft. But just yeah it feels real planted it feels pretty sturdy and then in the engine bay we've got a twin hks gt 2530 turbos old school japanese turbo and like i said before really love how he's kept the twin turbos makes for a very smooth power delivery you know a lot of uh, especially here in new zealand a lot of gtr owners tend to go single turbo setup which can sound amazing and it's super super fun um like on my S13, it got a pretty big turbo, and it, you know, you hit four or five thousand RPM, and it just fucking hyper speed. <laughs> It's still a sequential setup, so you know, they're both spinning at the same time, but you still do get quite a bit of kick, um, and it really picks up towards 4,000 RPM, and from there on, you're just flying. The exhaust we've got on this thing is absolutely beautiful. It sounds crazy. I can hear some big pops coming out the back, probably a few flames. It sounds really good. Uh, it's a full HKS titanium setup and a custom straight pipe, and because we got um, you know much bigger turbos, uh, than the factory ones, you know, you need the cooling and the, and the fuel and everything to do that. So we've got some 1000cc injectors, an upgraded fuel system, and a big intercooler to keep it all cool. And of course to run all that you need a really good um, ECU, so he's got the Heltec Platinum Pro plug-in ECU in here, 
Uh, Haltech's pretty much the gold standard when it comes to especially GTRs, GTR. so, especially GTRs. Um, and this is all built, uh, at least like all the engine stuff, by our friend Ethan at High Power Performance. He's got an insane, uh, what, it's like 1300 horsepower R34 sequential gearbox, which um, hopefully he's been promising me a ride in for a while. It's also got a full cam and crank trigger setup. And apparently this is quite important on the GTRs for smooth acceleration under high boost. Uh, apparently it's quite important to upgrade this from the, the stock setup, especially when you're making a fair bit of power. But yeah, we're just ripping this thing through the back roads now and it is going. fun um by far like i said the fastest manual car i've been in uh thanks so much darshan again for letting us uh, review this car it's been super fun like obviously as like i said i've driven the um tuned r35 but this is you know it's true skyline gtr this one um just absolutely awesome so if you enjoyed this review and want to see more like this uh make sure to leave a comment below we already got a few more lined up but i'd love to hear you guys thoughts on what you thought what i can improve on uh if you want to hear more things certain stuff i don't know like i said it's my first review so give me some uh critical feedback down below but yeah, thanks for watching if you're new to the channel click subscribe and i'll see you guys next time later